Here's a question. Does the quality of the loudspeakers on your phone matter to you? Yes, the built-in speakers, because that is what you're likely to use while watching this video or anytime you're too lazy to wear headphones. A few weeks ago, we ran a poll on our website, phonearena.com, asking our readers if the quality of their phone speakers matters to them. And the results were shocking, but probably not surprising. 80% said yes. Yet curiously, many phone manufacturers don't seem to put that much focus into delivering the best possible audio experience. Still, there are some exceptions, so if you value great speakers on the phone, these are the best ones around. And first, we have the Asus ROG Phone 5 series. These phones, well, they don't sound like phones at all. The ROG Phone 5 features two front firing speakers, meaning you get a well defined stereo effect and the sound is aimed right at your face, compared to other phones where you have a down-firing main speaker. So here is what this sounds like. mind that the sound recorder cannot quite capture the whole nuance, but this sound from this phone can rival some tablets and laptops. Admittedly not the best ones, but still. It's not only clear, but also impressively loud. While most phones don't deliver much of bass, the ROG phone does while maintaining clarity and there is no distortion or screechy high frequencies. Audio nerds also have a built-in music equalizer, where you can boost the low end further for an even more impactful gaming sounds or music, or just if you want to customize your sound. And unlike most flagships, this phone also has a headphone jack. So the ROG Phone 5 easily has the best loudspeakers in the phone in 2021, so we'll be using it as a reference from here on. Second best, however, might be a surprise. It's the Google Pixel 4 XL. Why an older Pixel phone instead of the Pixel 5, you may wonder? Well, because the new Pixel 5 actually has extremely disappointing sound from the loudspeakers. And that was a bit of a shock, simply because the older Pixel 4 XL set the bar so high, it sounds impressive, and is to this day ahead of most other smartphones in terms of sound clarity. Music sounds clear, and while the bass isn't strong by any means, at least it's present and clean. Here's what this sounds like. So overall it packs a very competent down-firing speakers and a helper speaker built in the earpiece. Both of those work together to deliver a good stereo experience, but as good as it is, this setup is not nearly as loud as the two equally strong front-firing speakers on the ROG Phone 5. Still, for what it is, the Pixel 4 XL is, well, incredible. It's our second best option. At number 3, we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. All phones in the iPhone 12 series sound great, but due to its sheer size, the iPhone 12 Pro Max feels just a tiny bit better in the sound department. Apple is known to deliver speakers that are well above the average on its MacBooks, iPads, and of course iPhones, so it's no surprise that we have an Apple device in this list. Now, it was difficult choosing between the Pixel 4 XL and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The Pixel has the cleaner sound, but the iPhone sounds punchier in terms of bass. Yes, the sound on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a bit screecher in the higher frequencies, so we cannot call it as clear as on the Pixel 4 XL. However, the iPhone has arguably the second punchiest bass after the ROG Phone 5, which does make sounds and music more impactful. And here is a sound sample. I've been watching you 
Lastly, we've chosen the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. Now, we know the giant camera module is what everyone talks about, but the speaker quality here is great too. The Mi 11 Ultra produces decently clear sound, albeit with a quite subtle bass and not as strong stereo separation as the previous phones we mentioned. Here's what it sounds like. Like most flagships, again, we have a single downfiring speaker and an earpiece speaker. But the earpiece one just isn't strong enough to keep up with the main speaker in order for the phone to deliver an even stereo experience. But it does a decent job, especially when compared to other flagships. Finally, yes, some expensive flagships can disappoint. For example, we tested the speakers of the Galaxy S21 Ultra expecting Samsung's flagship to keep up or even surpass those other phones, but its speaker quality was disappointing. The high frequencies can be ear piercing, there is no bass, with only the stereo separation being kinda good. And here's what it sounds like. So that was a bit surprising really because we were very impressed with the speakers on another Samsung phone, the Galaxy Z Fold 2. This expensive foldable phone has a lot more volume and punch and it actually is better than most phones out there, maybe second only to the ROG Phone 5. And here is a comparison of the Fold going against the S21 Ultra. So, which phone should you get if you care about sound quality? Well, the obvious choice would be the Asus ROG Phone 5. Now, of course, if you don't find gaming phones appealing, you can't go wrong with any of the other phones on this list. You won't get quite the wide sound and bass, but most of them deliver the kind of clarity and stereo separation you would expect from a modern flagship phone. But for what it is, this will do it for this video. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and check out phonearena.com, our website for more interesting tech content such as news and reviews. Also, let us know in the comments if you like how your phone speakers sound right now or whether you wish phone makers like Samsung, Google and Apple would put a bit more effort into delivering better sound for their users. My name is Vic and I'll see you in the next video.